and verse number 226 for those you loon means swearing off swear off among from their nisai him from their wives or from their women can have the rabbasu have waiting period can wait for them for arbatin ashur for 4 months fine then if they return then verily allah is of forgiving most merciful and this ila this word ila is an important terminology with related to family relation ila means having sweared what is this promise of swearing is all about to swear that you are not going to be my wife or some conflicts has happened either openly or you have it in the bottom of your heart and it is not being discussed at all and the relationship it's you can identify this outwardly it would look like it's an good relationship between husband and wife but inside of it they didn't have any love and compassion between them or no longer they are interested of each other then that condition is referred as ila time even prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam had a month of ila time with all the wives where who demanded um a lot of money for their family expense then allah has to intervene and then that's a big story that we will see it in the different part of the quran but now it it's common there are there are in hadith book separate chapter of this babul ila which means book of ila the rules related to that is being explained the very important point is tarabbasut arbatin ashur is a very important terminology if you have any difference of opinion if you could not gel each other then this matter has to be sorted out this matter needs to be sorted it, you can't have it hanging like this maximum period the very first point that the last one that says here no other legal ent- entity in this world gives such a commandment that a deadline has to be fixed for this issue the deadline for this is for four months before that both should come to a resolution stating that both are you both going to live or you get separated you have to decide for example today namo we know who is this namo and i am talking about he is also having a wife whether they are in relationship or not what happened to them there are so many people around us who live like this they don't have any contact they don't have any financial transaction happening but just for name sake their relationship will be there but that is great sin in front of allah and further allah subhanahu wa taala gives a deadline for us to decide on this four months before that everything should be settled either both of you should resume living together as a spouse as a as a couple or should say should depart or get separated you can't drag this case for a very long time so that is the very first incident very first point regarding the matter of dispute between husband and wife then allah subhanahu wa taala says fain azamu then if they swear or if they resolve and there were lots of talks happened between both the teams i mean from the family side the bride and the bridegroom but nothing has settled nothing is working together to put them together on a track then if they are resolved for talaq then it's okay it has to be fain allah samiun alim and verily allah is all here and all knower and i would like to remind about the hadith of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam that the talaq is the though it is halal but that is the only thing which is most hateful or disgusting for allah subhanahu wa taala to say or pronounce because that is where the victory of shaitan lies and there are a lot of things to talk but time will not permit me let me give just glimpses of it and you find prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said when you pronounce the lag this message reaches till the arsh of allah subhanahu wa taala even it shakes so it is a firm resolve it has to be taken not on a drop of a hat but with constant struggle and 
after after trying all the methods after trying all the methods to to restore the peace between the couples fails only then the people can dissolve for talaq but not for instantaneous uh, spontaneous it should not be a spontaneous or instantaneous decision piragi evargal ila seidargalo avargalude manavigalai piragi avargal edirpaathirukkattum naangu maadangal piragi irundal avargal meendu vittal பிறகு நிச்சயமாக அல்ல மகா மன்னிப்பவனாகவும் கிருபை உடையவனாகவும் இருக்கிறான் மேலும் அவர்கள் உறுதி உறுதிப்படுத்தினால் தலாக்கை பிறகு நிச்சயமாக அல்ல பற்றி செவி இருப்பவனாகவும் நன்கு அறிந்தவனாகவும் இருக்கிறான் ஈவன் there is no financial transaction happening they are not talking each other they are not chatting each other they are not interested with each other and they keep dragging the dates from beyond four months then there are fixed callers who says that their marriage itself becomes void they have to rejoin they have to do a uh, remarriage again there are scholars who says that now the situation has come that these people have decided to do a talaq then the steps procedural uh, procedures related to talaq comes in the following verses see how detailedly it is being given the details is so it is being discussed very detailedly in the quran because this is not happened with the life of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam if there is something happens in the life of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam the quran will not discuss elaborately for instance sala matter it is not being discussed very elaborately in the quran it just gives you glimpses because there are a lot of hadith to say about it but for the talaq it doesn't happen in the life of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam so our quran has to come and speak very detailedly so that's why you find it so detailedly every case being addressed here at talaq and then i would like to remind about தலாக் பற்றி தான் இந்த ஆயத்திலையும் மேற்கண்ட ஆயத்துகளிலையும் இஸ்லாமுடைய சட்டத்திட்டங்களை பற்றி கூறப்படுது தங்கள் மனைவியரை நெருங்குவதில்லை என்று சபதம் செய்து விலகி இருப்பவர்களுக்கு நான்கு மாத தவணை உண்டு எனவே அதற்குள் அவர்கள் தங்கள் மனைவியரிடம் திரும்பிவிட்டால் நிச்சயமாக அல்ல மன்னிப்போனும் கருணையுடையோனுமாயிருக்கிறான் ஆனால் அவர்கள் தலாக் சொல்வதென்று தீர்மானித்து விட்டால் அல்ல எல்லாவற்றையும் செவியுறுவனாகவும் நன்கறிபவனாகவும் இருக்கின்றான் என்பதை அவர்கள் நினைவில் கொள்ளட்டும்